Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you having a Hyundai Sonata you need to remove or replace uh, exhaust manifold or exhaust manifold gasket. Stay with us, we'll explain how to do that. Now before we start, let me tell you a little bit about this. Every single car we get at the garage, we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos. Why we do that? Simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. That way we can keep making these free videos for you. Now, there is one hidden bolt on that exhaust manifold and if you don't remove it, you'll have a really hard time. So make sure you stay until the end, we'll explain where it's located. If you need to buy any gaskets, parts, tools for a good price and quick shipping, check out the link in the description of the video below. That's where we get all our tools and supplies from. So that's a GDI engine, guys. We'll be completely rebuilding that engine. And while we're rebuilding it, we decided to show you exactly how to remove Okay, that exhaust manifold. We'll be doing cylinder head removal, gaskets, everything. We'll have more than probably 100 videos on that engine alone if you have a hand day sonata. So let's now concentrate on what we have here. That is the exhaust manifold. Make sure you work on it only when the car is cold. Let it sit over now. You have two options okay to remove the exhaust manifold now from the exhaust system. Here before the flex pipe you have two okay you can see two bolts that you can remove that will be the easiest uh, scenario or two after the flex pipe you decide guys both of them are about the same but i think if you remove them from here it will be easier the only difference is that we remove the engine already from the car next 10 millimeter socket and we need to go ahead and remove the thermal shield let's do that now Now, the oxygen sensor comes out of there, perfect, and the thermal shield is coming out. Now, here guys, okay, you see that some of the bolts, we bought that car, engine failed, okay, and whoever worked on that thing, uh, I think they uh, started taking the parts, so some of the bolts might, might be pretty loosened, but what you need to do, get penetrating spray, spray the nuts, okay, the bolts, make sure you let them soak for 10, 15, 20 minutes, Respray them again and try to take them off. So let's go ahead and explain where all the bolts are now So you're going to go right there in the corner. You have a bolt or a nut It depending sometimes you'll be the nut sometimes the bolt that will unscrew. Here is a nut Then you have one on top You can do that in the when the engine is in the vehicle you don't have to remove it perfect now here as well and the last one now there is one hidden bolt guys okay and that hidden bolt is located right here underneath whoever worked on it again did not install that bolt but you have one more bolt once you remove okay the uh, you can see the exhaust manifold you will need to make sure if you unhook it from here you don't need to worry about the oxygen sensor but we'll remove it with the flex pipe in that case this is the oxygen sensor wire we need to go ahead, okay, and disconnect it. Disconnect it so it can come out with it. Now, something else, I'll show you how that gasket has a leak. The exhaust manifold gasket, that will be the most common reason why you need to remove that thing right here. You can see that black spot means there was a leak. And if you look on the gasket itself, because of a loose bolt or bad gasket, okay, there was a leak right here, a leak over here as well. You can clearly, okay, see that. So that's how you guys remove the exhaust manifold or exhaust manifold gasket. If you need any videos on that engine, how to fix things, videos will be on the channel. Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching and see you next time.